Prince Harry has urged Britons to go and get a test for the illness during the 30-minute call with ex-Wales Captain Gareth Thomas, who he is friends with, to mark National HIV Testing Week. Prince Harry described himself as a typical guy who just wants to fix things, and said he feels an obligation to try to continue Princess Diana's bid to remove the stigma surrounding the virus. Gareth revealed he was HIV positive in 2020, having gone through the petrifying ordeal of being diagnosed in secret. In a video call from his California mansion, the Duke of Sussex spoke of his late mother. He said, I could never fill her shoes, especially in this particular space, but because of what she did and what she stood for and how vocal she was about this issue. It's a converging of all these different pieces. The pair discussed how normalizing HIV testing could help achieve the goal of ending new HIV cases in the UK by 2030. Judy James, a body language specialist spoke exclusively to Express.co.uk about Harry's latest video. Judy said, looking like a grandmaster chess player who has been planning his next move, Harry evokes the memory of Diana here, the woman who might once have been the next queen, as a checkmate to place her firmly in the public consciousness again just as Camilla was put formally into position as queen in waiting. Who could blame him if this was deliberate? His undying fondness for his mother is visible in the way his features soften when he talks about her here and his eye expression looks loving and reflective. He is restating his claim in terms of carrying on her good work by saying he feels obligated. This lifting of the banner and the suggestion that he is her heir and supporter when it comes to her good work might suggest he feels himself to be even further distanced from his family in the UK and continuing his own royal line in the US. When Harry chats to Gareth Thomas there are moments of banter prompted by Thomas and we can see Harry pausing from his campaigning messages to briefly join in the joking. For a few seconds we glimpse the old, fun-fueled Harry, but then the new Harry kicks in and he returns to his more earnest, campaigning self, using exaggerated and illustrative hand gestures to make his points in the style of a global guru. Using the word bro though suggests he still craves that camaraderie from the sporting field or from his military career where things were more equal in terms of status, although his claim that I'm a typical guy sounds hilariously disingenuous. Does he really believe this or does he just want us to believe it? He is very wordy here and he speaks at speed, suggesting passion and an energy to get going and make change. His idea to have a test for HIV seems to be something he wants to focus on as being a catalyst for change. The way his body squirms here and his fast-moving eye direction with some rapid, staccato blinks as he speaks are also signals of a desire to create change. The Duke's comments come after the announcement that Camilla will be crowned Queen Consort when Prince Charles becomes King, with the Queen assuring the Duchess of Cornwall's future status in a Platinum Jubilee statement. On the jovial video call, Prince Harry and Gareth greeted each other with the phrase Hello bud. How you doing? With the Duke later joking that the former sportsman was way older than him. Gareth chuckled and responded by flexing one of his tattooed biceps and telling Harry, I've got bigger guns than you, bud, prompting Harry to laugh and mimic him by saying, oh, bigger guns. Asked what made him so passionate about advocating for help surrounding HIV, Prince Harry said, once you get to meet people and you see the suffering around the world, I certainly can't turn my back on that. Then add in the fact that my mum's work was unfinished, I feel obligated to try and continue that as much as possible. With the absolute fiasco that is the British royal family set firmly in his rearview mirror, Prince Harry has his sights on a more consequential problem, the HIV-AIDS epidemic.